Good morning and welcome to the Scottish Highlands and today is a phenomenally exciting day because behind me is my new GT3 which I haven't even driven yet. The last time you guys saw this was in the showroom when we took delivery of the car. Today I've joined Porsche UK who have shipped the car up to the very northern tip of Scotland for its first drive. But not only that, this is a very significant event because it is part of Porsche's celebrations for its 70th anniversary. Now, what a Porsche have done, as you might be able to see, is brought up to Scotland every car from the 356 all the way up to the latest generation Gen 2 991 GT3 RS. The sun is shining. These are some of the greatest roads in the UK. The car's got 15 miles on the clock so far. So um, I'm gonna have to run this thing into a degree. Porsche tell me that I can get on it fairly early because actually the engines are benched before they go in the car. But um, yeah, it's still new. It's still my baby and I wanna look after it as much as I can. So we're gonna be taking it steady for the first few miles. Okay, the first thing that I wanted to address was lots of people are saying in the comments, why didn't you go for the fixed carbon seats? Come and check this out. I mean, we haven't even turned a wheel in this and I'm using the practical side of it before the performance side. Check it out. The beauty of the folding bucket is I've already stuffed loads of bags in the back here. Straight away. It's literally the most convenient thing. I also have suitcase in the front as well. And that's why I went for the folding seats because you can fit loads of stuff in. The cage actually, and this is not an excuse, as awesome as the cage looks, it also holds bags in place. So when you're like throwing it around, bags don't come flying forwards and hit the back of your seat. So folding seats is where it's at in a GT3. Okay, the moment of truth. This is the first time I'm going to even turn on the engine of this car. <laughs> that familiar flat six Porsche sound. This is ridiculous. I can't believe the context in which I'm having the first drive of this car. This is an official Porsche UK event. It's a 70th anniversary event. Then the cars, the cars. We have a Gen 2 GT3 RS over there. We have the new GT2 RS in front, also in Miami blue. So we're definitely gonna have to get some pictures next to that later. And with any luck today, I might be able to drive each of those cars. All right, first time into gear, into drive. Let's go. <laughs> Literally, look, 15 miles on the clock. This is crackers. Split opinions as to the run-in schedule of this car. If you go by the handbook, it's incredibly conservative. I think it's the run-in period is recommended to be 2,000 miles. I mean, some people don't even do that in their GT3 in a year. You know, often for people, they're special occasion cars. But I think that's a super conservative, be safe run-in schedule. I've spoken with the guys from Porsche here who have said, to be honest, the engines are benched before they even go in the car and you know they're ragged out to 9,000 and then they're stuck in your car so they've already kind of had a pretty good spinning uh, however I kind of I'm adopting this halfway house so I think for the first about 500 miles I'm gonna take it relatively steady yeah that doesn't mean we're not gonna be able to hear some 9,000 rpm at some point today but I don't think I'll be doing it too often Porsche here saying it's okay I'd like to bed it in a little bit but just to be back in this thing, it's ridiculous. The smile glands are on full chat today. Uh, as soon as I sat in this seat, it's such a familiar hugging sensation. These seats fit you so well. Uh, the steering wheel in this is the smaller diameter steering wheel from the GT3 RS, which is new compared to my old GT3, but it's lovely and it gives it that slightly more dynamic edge and feel to the car. And of course, importantly, the Alcantara, which the steering wheel is clad in, is incredibly fresh. It feels beautiful. Anyway, we also find ourselves in the Scottish Highlands. There is still snow-capped 
mountains and these are the kinds of roads that you can see the horizon for miles so it's such an enjoyable place to be and I'm just absolutely honoured to run this car in uh, for, on such a special occasion for Porsche because this is the 70th year anniversary and the first drive of my new car so thank you so much Porsche for inviting me on this now let's go and exploit this car on some fabulous roads and check out some of the other incredible cars on this journey drive that was uh we've just done 65 miles so not a huge amount but the first turn of the wheel in the car feels so good uh, look at what we've parked next to so the amazing thing about being on an official porsche trip is not only are we surrounded by fantastic cars but currently at our coffee stops they have a detailing service cleaning the cars so we go and have a coffee come back cars are all clean uh, but how amazing is it to have another miami blue car and a GT2 RS no less parked next to our own car. It's so cool, but how amazing does this look? All of the sculpture on the RS is ex accentuated even further by having so much contrasting carbon, uh, which is one thing. I think one of the upgrades I'll be making on this car is even more external carbon, particularly end plates on the wing and I think air intakes, which we are uh, in the early talks with somebody really cool trying to sort that out. And also the scenery. I've never been this far north in my own country so it's a very special occasion doing that as well scenery is incredible cars are amazing people are great let's check out the coffee stop And there's this resonance, there's this resonation that is coming through this chassis and through the engine. And even, I can actually feel it resonating a little bit in the steering wheel. When you get up to 9,000 RPM on this, there has been an evolution of this engine. It's just, just to check this again. This is six to 9,000 RPM, are you ready? Nine. <laughs> what? Oh, it's so good. Listen to this. don't know where we go from here. It's out of this world epic. And I'm also finding that I don't have to. <laughs> it sounds like a cup car. It actually sounds like I'm in a goddamn cup car. What a phenomenal block this is. I'm gonna calm it down a bit because I, I mean, listen, Porter have told me that I'm fine, so just use it now but I'm still gonna spend some time running it in a little bit more, but I couldn't, we couldn't have the first drive and not share that with you. It's absolutely different gravy cool. So, so special. I'm really gonna um, sort of immerse myself and try and uh, absorb as much of the character of this car, digest it a bit, and then over the coming weeks and months of living with it, I'll uh, be better positioned to be able to translate into vocabulary just what this thing is like and the sort of evolution from the last car. I mean, I think I'm in a really fortunate position that having done 20,000 miles in the last GT3, I'm in a really good position to tell you how things have moved on. Just from a few squirts of the right pedal, things have really moved on. This is amazing. I can't wait for this engine to free up and get it ran in. 
and on these roads with these cars. Oh, it's amazing. So lucky. So this is what our convoy and what our petrol stops look like at the minute. This is the majority of the convoy which I've been with most of the day. But you can see we've got some serious kit. We've got the Gen 1 991 GT3 RS here, GT2 RS in matching Miami blue. I think that's probably my favorite spec of the cars out here. And a Gen 2 991 GT3 RS with Vicky Button the Henderson no less driving it. So we've got a really strong lineup. I've been dying to ask you how how's this been? This is amazing. I adore the colour. Yeah. You stand out like a sore thumb. I know. <laughs> You're like Kermit the Frog from the around noise. the corner. The, everything is an amazing experience. I flipping yeah. love, love it. Love it. You've only been in it about 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping when I get back, I get to jump in and take it around the block. So. Well, you have to fight me for the key. All right, it's on. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> As you can see, great bunch of people here. Uh, she's awesome. Proper enthusiast. I love it. All these guys here. We've got some more of the classic cars as well right the way over there there's actually a 356 it's amazing to see i am shocked at how quick that 356 is it's basically 70 years old uh, so it's very impressive and this gen 2 gt3 here is actually a manual very very strong lineup we're approaching the end of our day in terms of travel day and then when i get back to our hotel shortly i'm going to jump into both the gt2 rs and the gen 2 gt3 rs it's a very good day to our lodge for this evening. Check it out. Looks like a really cool place to chill. Once again, surrounded by incredible views and incredible cars. Speaking of incredible cars, we got the keys to the Gen 2 GT3 RS. <laughs> so as far as uh, monumental occasions go, uh, not only have I just collected my own GT3, which I'm still coming to terms with, uh, but I've also just been handed the keys to the Gen 2 GT3 RS in the same day. <laughs> so, I mean, in what world do you get to compare these two cars back to back? Normally, when I film a car of such significance, as you know, I would make a full 15 minute video on it and make it all glamorous and beautiful, uh, but I don't have much time because dinner's calling. We're gonna hop out in this and just see what it's all about. The first thing I noticed is actually, the overall engine tone is, has slightly more bass. I'm not sure if that's the exhaust or whatnot, but uh, your gear shifts are as savage as you would expect. Just listen to this. just how effortless and seamless it is. It's not so much as a gear shift as it is this sort of audible tone change. It just sort of happens. It's unbelievable. In terms of overall feel, I think this thing will definitely come into its own when you're really on it because the size of that wing and the uh, increased downforce suggests it comes into its own when you're sort of 10 tenths. But we won't do that today because it's been very successful. We've all got away without any problems. So I'm just gonna enjoy it, see what it's all about, but maybe uh, check out if the front end hooks up any different. But yeah, it's actually just an honor to be in it. Despite the fact that this wing, you could actually land an airplane on that thing. Uh, it's actually more practical than the wing on uh, my GT3 because you can see under it. So you can see traffic behind you. Whereas in my car, it just kind of blanks it all out. Yeah, I mean, in terms of the sound, the sound is definitely more raw. It sort of sh uh, shrieks at you. Yeah, I think uh, an exhaust is required for the GT3. <laughs> so, just stepped out of the Gen 2 GT3 RS, and now myself and Pierce have just jumped into the GT2 RS Wyzog pack, no less. Um, yeah, I was just saying that uh, being given the keys to the 2 RS was up there with like, it was like the, the, the hidden Christmas present that I didn't know was coming at the end of the day. This has taken things to a whole new level. We are Corn, driving to the I most believe. northerly point in uh, the United Kingdom. Well, mainland United Kingdom. Mainland United Kingdom in a 2RS. 
Yeah. Today, this is bolting on to the end of my video. So I'm sorry it's brief. What I'm gonna try and do is use my magic powers of persuasion to see if I can get hold of a 2RS for longer than 15 minutes. It's got a nice deep barble to it, hasn't it? What's funny is the interior of these, other than subtle changes, and I, we yet to confirm this, but my instinct tells me that cage is a titanium cage. So just to give you some context as to how epic this thing is. Um, being inside a car, which is so familiar to the naturally aspirated stuff, the naturally aspirated GT3, yeah, 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 but sure. feeling so different, it's weird. It's like when they stuck a 911 engine in the cable in the GT4. Yeah, yeah. That was you turned it on and you were like, hold on a minute, yeah. <laughs> this is something, different. something's yeah. up. So let's see what this is all about. So good all day. It's been so good all day, and now I'm basically in the middle of a cloud. Uh, somewhere over there is the ocean. I think the ocean's that way. Um, yeah, anyway, so this is the most northerly tip of the mainland, and uh, we would otherwise be able to see resplendent wildlife. But uh, I, I, as I mentioned, I'm in the middle of a cloud, which is a shame. But what we do have is iridescent cars. Looks like we've arrived in a packet of Skittles, and uh, the car wash has been following us around all day. So we've got these guys here cleaning up all the cars. Um, I can't believe I haven't spoken to you yet about, about this thing. Um, today's just unhinged, unhinged epicness. The cars have been driving. Uh, I, I mean, this has been my collection day of my own car. And I've been in this Gen 2 GT3 RS and now I've just driven over here into the cloud in the uh, GT2 RS. And yeah, I'm still kind of, my brain's processing just how epic today is. It's been absolutely phenomenal. So. Quick show around and then I think we better call it a day. Okay, so we're back and I thought I would end the video in the place that we started, back in the new GT3. Uh, what a phenomenal day. This car has just reminded me how incredible this platform is. The engine is ridiculous, I cannot wait. I know I've taken it to the red line a couple of times today, but it was just for you guys. For the next few hundred miles I'm gonna be taking it steady. I was about to say we've lucked out with the weather. It's just started to rain as those clouds closed in on us earlier. Uh, I'm just super thankful that it's at the very end of the day. So it's been perfect. Scotland is incredible. I shall definitely be coming back up here to drive some more of those incredible roads. The videos with both the Gen 2 GT3 RS and the GT2 RS, obviously that was a sort of bolt on to this video. So I'm gonna be talking with Porsche to get my hands on those cars, hopefully in the future, uh, to make some more dedicated content, which will be super cool. But yes, monumental occasion. Thanks so much as always for watching, and I shall see you next time. Ciao. You are, you are, you are, you are.